congratulations to the team. It's dumber than DeepSeek, three times more expensive than DeepSeek, and slower than GPT-5. It is unfortunate they released a day after the new DeepSeek model, which is also open source. Bad timing. Sorry, guys. Sad news about Mistral. EU is out of the race for sure in the UK. I'm clumping in with the EU. Like, Europe as a whole has... This is a two-horse race. It's China and America and Europe are making noises and gesturing towards, oh, we're going to become an EU super, we're going to become an AI superpower. It's not going to happen. There's not enough money. There's not enough compute. There's not enough electricity. There's this stack going on about there's a data center or AI data centers in Ireland use 20% of the national grid. I don't know if that's true, but if it is, that is a national grid problem. We need better infrastructure. And we looked at China's electricity power generation from 1985 to 2024 every other nation has gradually added the u.s has gone from 3000 terawatt hours to about four and a half china's gone from basically zero to 12 they have realized to have a a nation which is technologically advanced which can train artificial intelligence etc we need to have the power they have been investing in this since the 1980s Poesis says, legitimately impressive. Ministral Web GPU, very cool technology. The problem is in the media cycles and coverage, it's all about who's got the biggest, best model. It's not about, hey, we've created a lightweight, open source model that you can use to you know, use in your browser, so you can use this locally. That doesn't capture the headlines. It's all about bigger numbers, more power, more electricity. So I think this is a very interesting route for Europe to take, which is basically say, hey, look, we can't compete with American China on electricity, on GPUs. So what we're going to do is focus on edge, edge AI, squeezing down models, making them denser, more efficient, making algorithms better rather than just relying on more parameters and more compute so that we can get them onto devices. Because whoever gets them onto the devices, I think is going to win. And this is how Apple could come back if they are I don't believe they are, but if they are sitting quietly and waiting for this technology to mature so they can swoop in, deploy them on devices and suddenly have artificial intelligence in the hands of how many Apple iPhones are there, like billions and billions of people on earth, uh, they could do well. I don't think that's their plan.